Hey guys, we're back. Public Beta 3 for iPad OS 26 just released. And for me, it's feeling super snappy, super smooth. So let's get right into it. And if you've been paying attention, I didn't do a video for Public Beta 2 just because all we got was a new airdrop icon. I uh, couldn't really make a full video detailing that. Uh, but what I did notice actually on Beta 2 was the build number uh, was 23A. 5308G. And because that was released the first week of August, uh, just for Apple to go from build number ending in G all the way down to A for uh, a release candidate, it, it looked like it was going to fall in line on weekly updates, uh, taking us all the way down to mid September, which lined up perfectly. And now the very next week, we get another beta. Although, you know, the numbers don't line up quite quite right, at, at least from what I was looking at. Uh, we'll get into the build number on this one, but first wanted to show you, we have a, a new welcome screen. So, you know, all different languages showing you here. Let's open it up and shows you that we just completed the update, terms and conditions, and so we have a new onboarding. So if you're just now downloading this public beta for the first time, uh, this is gonna show you, hey, this is what's changing. Personalize your iPad with new apps, uh, new app icons. Uh, search is even easier in accessing uh, mail and notes. We got the multiple windows and resizing and arranging them. So this is really just gonna show you what the main update is all about so let's continue and see what we got welcome everybody get started all right so here's how we have mine already set up uh, just a bunch of different widgets and things like that this is again on the iPad mini and I had multitasking turned off you can turn it on right there in the control center which is actually new I think that did finally get fixed in public beta 2 for me because when I first updated the iPad mini, um, I didn't have that multitasking toggle. Although I could go into settings and set up multitasking, it just wasn't, uh, wasn't there for me in the control center. So, but let's get into what we have on this video you know, on this update. So just opening everything up, multitasking, Everything is just super duper snappy. So, you know, you can bring up as many apps as you kind of want. I think it's up to 12. Don't quote me on that. It might be different for the mini versus my main iPad is the uh, M4. But this is kind of what we got. So, apps are opening up quickly. We have the traffic lights you can kind of organize your apps however which way you want them and on the ipad mini uh you know there's just obviously not as much room to play around with stuff but you can still do everything that you can do on the 13 inch ipad pro you can do on the mini now so there's no real limitations as far as you know what chip you have i mean you can this isn't even the cheapest ipad the the cheapest ipad can run this same stuff as well a, a few years old uh you know base ipad so what you're really getting out of your ipads is so much more now and what i really believe is them testing out you know these multitasking features on the ipad mini is really going to get ported over to this new iPhone fold that we have coming out. Uh, that's what I really believe. I think when we get the fold, it's going to be a lot like this. So getting used to touch targets uh, from us on a smaller screen, I think that's where they're going to be getting a lot of their information. But, you know, back to, you know, let's stop, stop jibber jabbing. Let's get back to what this is all about. 
if you double tap up here also if it's in like a small uh small window if you want to just main screen it real quick you can just double tap the top you can also bring up the menu bar and hit window um you know you can minimize it from there you can as soon as you actually tap onto each one that one becomes the main focal point for the menu bar so right now youtube is the main focal point now if i'm touching on twitter x that's the main focal point so you can minimize things from there enter full screen from there but let's get off this tangent let's go back to settings about the ipad version 26 and you see the the build number here is 23 a 5318 c so this went from 08g to 18c so lining it up week by week i thought we weren't going to have a c build until the week of september 1st but we're already there so this is getting closer and closer to that you know real launch uh, here in september and i i think the smoothness of this update really shows that so everything's just super snappy and we also have some ringtones and to be honest with you i never go into this uh, i don't have my ipads set up with ringtones but you know we even got a tone store Let, let's go into that i don't want notification oh takes you to itunes so people are buying ringtones so this is this is news to me i, I didn't know people were still still doing this this is something that i used to do we used to have commercials where you'd like literally call in and like pay like a dollar and they'd send you like a little like ringtone to your nokia like in the club by 50 cent so let, let's get into these so it's under reflection here's the default one let's crank it up a bit so that's default we all we all know that one buoyant a little nicer dreamer okay this one hits this one's nice oh oh okay all right i like this one a lot um if i do do a ringtone i'll i'll probably pick this one but let's see what else we got pond hmm it's very they're british very proper we got pop ah that one's nice too okay reflected yeah i'm reflecting to that that one that one's nice and surge okay we're going 80s club here now let's dreamer that, that's the one to go for uh, that one's nice all right but let's get out of here okay go hit up dreamer go to the tone store get your glorilla ringtone and uh and let's get back out of here um but i don't know there's a there's you know like i said a smoothness to these animations the way that they pop in and out and you know how fast they're going this really just leads me to believe that this thing is just getting closer and closer it feels better and better i never really had any issues with uh you know any of the the updates ever since i downloaded uh, ipad os 26 but it just keeps getting more refined and more refined the battery life let's check that as well it's not something that i really dwell on too much on my ipads i don't even use this ipad all that often so we might not even get you know this is still 100 percent 33 cycle count since it was first released um let's bust out the ipad pro for that one because that's going to give me you know more of a picture on the actual battery life so you have that there so let's go here we're at 93 percent capacity 180 198 cycle count 
I've had this since launch day of May 2024. So, you know, we're well over a year old on this. But let's see all battery usage. And obviously today it's very early in the morning. We haven't done anything. Uh, seven hours and 14 minutes. You know, I was, you know, charging throughout the day, or day, especially once this came out. I wanted to make sure that I was charged up. Didn't really use it much on the weekends. Friday, six hours and 16 minutes of screen on time. Seven hours and 36 minutes. You see, I'm getting some pretty decent battery life. But I keep this at my desk, so if I need to charge it, then I charge it. All right, guys, so there you have it. Public Beta 3. We got ringtones. We've always been asking for this, right? But no, on the other hand, uh, like I said, super smooth, super snappy. Uh, no real bugs uh, that I've run into. So if you've been on the fence with updating to iPad OS 26, I'd say now is about the time to give it a go. Uh, obviously update it at your own risk, but I think you should be fine. So the benefits, far outweigh the cons. So if you like this video, please hit subscribe, like, share it with your friends, run these numbers up. But until the next time, it's Sean with Buck Life. Peace.